Welcome to the Eat Allergy Safe podcast, where it's all about solving the challenges of living with allergies so you can be more confident and stay allergy safe. Here's your host. She's an adrenaline pen carrying grown up allergy kid, Nina Modak. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Eat Allergy Safe podcast, and I'm Nina, your host. Now today I'm following on from my last episode which was all about my financial dilemma and the future of Eat Allergy Safe. For those of you who listened to last week's or last episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. For those of you on the Eat Allergy Safe email list, you've already received an email all about my financial dilemma and what's going to happen with Eat Allergy Safe. And that's what I'm going to talk about today, a quick recap and then what is allergy coaching. So a quick recap on what happened. So currently Eat Allergy Safe only partly funds itself through the chocolate recipe book, which you might know about if you are a regular listener, and through the chocolate truffles that I sell. However, I do a lot of stuff for free. So blog posts, podcasts, um, I answer a lot of private messages and emails. So in order to keep myself in house and home, as well as cover the rest of the costs of running a website and a podcast, I came up with a solution, which is... I know that my information and time is valuable, or more the information actually, I know the information I provide is valuable. So I came up with Allergy Coaching, a personal one-on-one service for you to coach you through the initial stages of getting an allergy diagnosis. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Now, I said in my last email that I'm if my initial inclination is to charge $60 or £40 per hour. The reason for doing this is so that I can spend more time on Eat Allergy Safe, so that I can cover my expenses so that I don't have to do things such as, well, basically freelance work or any other jobs that would take my attention away from Eat Allergy Safe. The less time I have on Eat Allergy Safe, the less valuable content and any content that I can put out. And if you've noticed, there haven't been a lot of podcast episodes recently. Now, today I'm going to talk about what is allergy coaching? How does it work? Because I didn't talk about that a lot in my last episode. So as I mentioned, allergy coaching are one-on-one sessions. They're private coaching sessions. They could be for you. They could be for you and a spouse if you've got an allergy kid. They could be for you if you're an adult onset allergy sufferer. They could also be for if you have an allergy teenager who would like some for them to talk to someone, to kind of voice their worries and their concerns, who isn't their mum or their dad, but who's also been through this. It's a place where you can ask your questions. It's a place where you can voice your challenges and then we're gonna think, we're gonna work out strategies for you to conquer them, for you to see these challenges and then to use them as something to make your life better. And that is my wholehearted belief. I know that allergies aren't about missing out, they're about doing things differently. And when you get an initial diagnosis, sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees, you can't see where you're going. But that's what the coaching's about. It's a place where we can work out together, how do we get through this challenge? How can you build the confidence so that you can teach your allergy child to be confident, so that they can advocate for themselves, so they can stay safe, because an allergy kid is their best own advocate, because they are gonna be concerned with their health and well-being far more than anyone else's, especially when they get to adulthood. And teaching them the tools young is the way that you're gonna keep them safe as a teenager and as an adult. Coaching can also be family sessions. Now, I know that communicating the seriousness of seriousness of allergies, especially when you have anaphylaxis, um, is hard when you have to communicate with colleagues and especially sometimes with extended family. Sometimes the older generation or different people just don't get it. And I know with my own parents, my mum decided that when she was going to communicate it to my my grandmother um, and the extended family, then she was gonna make sure that she did it at the time that the district nurse was there, explaining about how to use an EpiPen, how to use her my adrenaline pen so that she would take it seriously. Now, sometimes that's not always possible, but that's what I want to provide. I want to help you 
communicate with your family the severity of the allergies and also how you can help it bring your family together, how you can rally around your allergy child and make it a fun part of family life. Also, when it comes to dealing with the emotional side of allergies, it's not talked about a huge amount, but this is a place where you can talk about it. There are times where you feel confused, when you feel hope, uh, helpless, where you feel hopeless, where the, you feel overwhelmed by the enormity and the seriousness of it. Perhaps you might feel guilty that you don't have an allergy, but your child does, and how can they have the life you dreamed for them or that you envisioned for them with an allergy? Well, this is a time where you can voice those concerns and then we are gonna to work together. I'm gonna to show you strategies and we're gonna work out how you can then start overcoming those and showing your child that allergies aren't about missing out, they're just about doing things differently. So where, how do we have these sessions? Well, I want to make it as convenient for everybody because allergies are an international thing, no one is you know, everybody could have an allergy. I hope you don't get an allergy, but it's a universal thing. So allergies are international. And I want to make it possible that you can have a session wherever you are in the world. And that means I'm going to be doing it online. I, I thought this was the best way. I mean, if you are in the UK, um, if you are in the Manchester area, I'm available so we can do one-on-one -on -one in-person sessions. But for the majority of you, it will probably be online and that will be via Skype or we can do a phone call. So whatever works for you, that's how we'll do it. <coughs> <coughs> and then price. As I mentioned before, I'm charging $60 or £40 per hour. And now this could be for you and a spouse or this could be a family session. So. When I initially came up with this price, and believe me, it was a really tough thing because I, had, I answer private emails, private messages all the time, and I love doing it, and the feedback I've got has been so positive that the idea for charging for it has been quite terrifying. And then how do you put a price tag on it? So my other half, when I was telling him about this, he said, well, that's cheap. Mine's $150 an hour. Well, I'm not going to be charging $150 an hour. I'm going to stick with my initial inclination and go for $60, £40. So, is allergy coaching for you? Well, are you someone who wants to build confidence? Are you someone who wants to learn strategies to manage allergies in everyday life and take control back for your life? Now, allergy coaching is not going to be easy and it's not going to be for everyone. Um, in my experience of running the blog, there are people who disagree with what I say. That's normal and they can have their opinions. That's absolutely fine. Their, my coaching won't be for them. Building confidence, learning to manage something that you think in the beginning is insurmountable is going to be a tough journey. It's going to feel uphill. But if you are ready for the challenge and you want someone there who can help you through that initial stage, I am here to coach you. And I know it is so possible for you to live confidently with allergies, to teach your allergy child to live confidently with allergies. And I am so excited to help you on your journey and to support you on your moving forward. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for listening to all about allergy coaching. And if you'd like some more information about allergy coaching and get in touch with and to get in touch with me, all you need to do is send me an email. Now, to do that, you can email me directly at admin at eatallergysafe.com or go to the eatallergysafe.com website and go to the contact page and you can send me an email through there. It will get to me directly and I do my best to respond to emails as soon as I get them. So I look forward to hearing from you and we can also set up a 15 minute free consultation. So 
If you're not quite sure yet, but you think this allergy coaching is for you, we can do a 15 minute consultation and see if we're right together, see if this is what you want, and then we can start moving forward. So I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to supporting you on your allergy journey. Don't forget to go to eatallergysafe.com, go to the contact page and send me an email and say that you are interested in allergy coaching. Okay, thanks for joining me and I will speak to you in the next episode. Bye-bye. You have been listening to the Eat Allergy Safe podcast by Nina Modak. If you want to help other people with allergies discover this podcast, then please rate it in iTunes. It only takes a few seconds. Your rating could make the crucial difference in letting a fellow allergy sufferer find out that they're not alone and help is available. Thank you.